Hey, welcome to this video. This is Dr. Steve Young. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what it means to have a labrum tear or a labrum repair in combination with a rotator cuff tear. You see, your rotator cuff consists of four muscles deep in the shoulder that help stabilize your shoulder. So I have a model of the shoulder here, and this model is actually of a right shoulder. So typically when you lift up your arm, your shoulder muscle, which is the deltoid muscle, will help move the arm up. The problem is when the deltoid muscle contracts, it also wants this bone to slide up and jam against this bone. So when this muscle contracts the deltoid, it wants to jam the bone like this. Your body's pretty smart. It has um, active stabilizers, which are the rotator cuff muscles. They connect from the shoulder blade here, here, and deep in here to the shoulder. And what it does is when you go to lift your arm, when you do this, anything when your shoulder is moving up here, the rotator cuff is designed to keep the arm down. So they kind of imagine a tug of war. The deltoid is on one side, the rotator cuff is on the other. They will always be ideally a tie where nothing moves. So this joint stays centered, it doesn't slide up. So that's the rotator cuff. So when you have a repair in the rotator cuff, what that means is a tear in the, uh, the cuff here in the tendon material from too much of this and sometimes this plus grinding that tears a rotator cuff. So when they sew that back together, in the beginning you want to be you know, in a sling, rested to let that heal. Now the labrum is something different. The labrum is a passive structure that helps stabilize your shoulder. The easiest um, picture of that is imagine a teacup sitting on a uh, saucer. There's that ring that prevents a teacup from sliding around. That ring is like the labrum in your shoulder. This is sort of, this joint sticks on here and there's a ring of cartilage that you don't see because this is just a bone. The ring of cartilage sort of extends out and that prevents this joint from sliding around. So a tear in that labrum and most commonly there's a, a uh, the biceps tendon attaches to that cartilage, so if you pull on a biceps tendon too hard, it can rip that cartilage right off the bone, which is called a slap tear. So when you have a tear in that labrum, now the bone can slide more towards that spot. So imagine a teacup on a saucer, if one spot is smooth, it's not raised, the teacup will slide a lot easier towards that. So when you have a surgical repair, what they do is they kind of tack that labrum down it's kind of flapping around, they kind of tack it down to the bone, and eventually the bone will heal onto the cartilage again. So it's very, very important in the beginning of this process in your rehab, the first couple weeks you're typically in a sling, four to six weeks depending upon the surgeon's preference, you basically want to protect the shoulder. You don't want to be pushing things, especially reaching up here, because you don't want the bone to be pushing onto where those tacks are. Basically you kind of rip the cartilage and um, destroy the repair, so you want to be careful. Now it's not like it's going to happen as soon as you lift, but you definitely don't want to be doing anything strenuous overhead. Okay, so that's basically the rotator, care, rotator cuff tear in combination with the labrum tear. And I hope you uh, enjoy this video and follow, make sure you follow your doctor's protocols and we'll be able to help you also uh, rehab the shoulder as rapidly and as safely as possible.